Hey everyone, it is Thursday, June 30th, 2016. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 230. A couple days late getting a video out this week. Tuesday was an absolutely gray day, so didn't record then. Yesterday was an absolutely annoying day because of some issues we're dealing with at work, and I totally forgot to plug the camera into charge. So I'm finally getting to do my video today. And fair warning, it might be a little long, it is what it is. Sorry, I can't help it. I'll try and go as quickly as possible. So, no video last week. I was on vacation. I did intend to record a video, but then we decided to go visit this little, we're going to call it a crafty thrift shop or a thrifty craft shop. Depends on what how you want to look at it. That's open, not really in our area, but it is in our city. It's just kind of like across town from us. But we are able to get there by bus. And it's something that my son brought a little paper advertisement home for. So since we were going there Friday, I decided to just hold off doing the video just in case I made any purchases, which I did make some purchases. So let's talk about vacation. We didn't leave home and go anywhere. We just did little things during the day that we wanted to do. Monday was kind of mundane. I got out of work. I did what I had to do for getting this stupid new phone, which is a joke, folks, really. Um, but I came home. We hit the grocery store. We got a couple of the things we forgot. Tuesday was just a trip to Walmart to get some of the things that we needed at Walmart from there. And then Wednesday started really kind of like the funner things for vacation. My youngest one and my daughter and I decided that we were going to go see a movie. And the movie we settled on was The Conjuring 2, which is an absolutely fun, fantastic movie. I'm very much into horror movies, so I really enjoyed the movie. Although, still waiting to find a scary movie for me. Which my son said I'll never find because I don't scare easy. So... But it was a really good movie. If you haven't seen it and you're into horror movies, it's definitely worth going to see. We also did a little shopping while we were there because in my house, I'm not only mother but father to my kids. So my daughter decided for Father's Day to purchase a $25 gift card to Barnes & Noble. So while we were there before seeing the movie we did some shopping and i'll show you the things i got not all from barnes and noble but we did go to a store called fye or for your entertainment and they sell just you know it's dvds mu music they had a lot of the funko pop figures and stuff like that so i did grab a couple of those while i was there and i want to make sure i show you the right ones so one of them I got, and for me, when it was Sesame Street, my two favorite characters were Oscar the Grouch with Wormy and the Cookie Monster. So, I got Oscar, and he does have Wormy. He's right there at the base. I don't know if you can see that. So, got that. I also purchased the Pumpkin King. I have Jack Skellington. I now have him as the Pumpkin King. Because I do believe I got Jack Skellington for Christmas. I have a bag I'm putting things in because I'm like loaded with stuff. And last but not least there, Mr. Willy Wonka. And we're not talking the one that uh, Tim Burton did. We're talking the original. So, got Willy Wonka. So, there was that. And it was like buy two, get one 75% off. So, and I was spoiling myself on my vacation. So then we went to Barnes & Noble, and at Barnes & Noble, I purchased my other favorite character, the Cookie Monster. I also got this little thing, they're Guardians of the Galaxy board, or Dorbs, I don't know, but it's, if you can see it, and I'm trying it because of the light, there we go. It is Groot, so, eh, there we go, there's Groot. And he's not a Funko Pop. He's a Dorb. I don't know what the heck a Dorbs is, but there he is. <laughs> and last but not least for the figures is, for all you Doctor Who fans, the fourth Doctor, complete with his scarf and all. This was my Doctor when I watched Doctor Who, was the fourth Doctor. So, was glad I was able to get that. And also at Barnes & Noble, on the discount shelf, I purchased this kind of cross-stitch kit for jar covers. And 
this little notebook here. There goes my camera going dark. That says, behind every successful woman is a substantial amount of chocolate. <laughs> so, but not the chief stuff. I like the really rich, expensive stuff. So, but it's just a little notepad. You can jot notes down. And I also purchased, it's called an IQ Fit. They're smart games. Here it is. And it looks like something that would be really easy. But as you go through the book, it gets harder. You have shapes that you have to put in just right to get them all to fit in. So, I've been having fun with that. It's nice to, you know, kind of challenge your mind. So, and I think I also purchased a little book with different uh, puzzles and stuff in it to do. So, <laughs> our next trip was for Thursday. We did end up going to the farmer's market. We had kind of decided we weren't going to go because my daughter had seen somewhere that they weren't going to have the fruits and vegetables. And I said, it's funny because Thursday is the day that they take the participants from the program I work for over to the farmer's market. So she went online and she checked. So it was a mad dash, get clothes on, run to the next bus, hop down, see what we could get. We did get some fruits and vegetables. We also picked up, I got some jam and a jar of raw honey along with a couple plants that are out on my front porch right now because if I put them out in the back they get attacked by critters so they're out on the front porch so uh, that was a fun quick little trip so we enjoyed ourselves and then Friday was the day we went to this little crafty thrift store <laughs> like I said our thrifty craft store uh, the picture on the little advertisement my son brought home does not do this store justice. It's called Her Treasure Box, and it is just chock full of craft supplies. It's totally amazing. I mean, I couldn't find anything related to crafts that they didn't sell there. I think the only thing I didn't really notice, and I do think I saw like one or two, was for um, the the clay little things whatever I can't remember what it's called right now I'm drawing a blank but this store was just chock full of stuff it was amazing I have spoken to the women because proceeds from this store go to help survivors of human trafficking so I spoke to the woman who's in charge and told her you know because I mean this little picture advertisement doesn't do justice so I said listen you know I'd be willing to come in and do a videotape of the store you know because we really want to show people that there's a lot of stuff in there so she has totally agreed to it I'm hoping that not this coming Saturday but next Saturday which was is my weekend off that I will be able to get over there get the video done get it up online and hopefully help drum up some more business for them but we did have a great time especially my daughter I've got stuff over here, there, and everywhere. I'm going to pull it to the front quick here. So my daughter went in as I'm grabbing this stuff. And she just had a ball grabbing fabric. So I'm going to show you that first. First off, she got this cow fabric. And this is a stretchy knit fabric. So my question to all you, she's, we're thinking of a pillowcase. Um, to anybody who makes the hot dog pillowcases and has worked with the stretchy knit fabric, is it possible that we make a pillowcase out of this or would it be better off trying to figure out something else? But there's that. She likes it because it's got these cows. Let me see if I can get a cow upright. It's got these cows and flowers on it. So she really liked that. And she did. She went nuts with fabric. She found this one and this and this was all like dirt cheap they have all these little bundles here's a bundle of fabrics they had and these were like no less than a dollar fifty for them but really beautiful fabrics put together so this one i haven't opened them up and looked i've kept them kind of together but just a lot of fun different fabrics and i said if i knew what this store was like you know, and I had the ability, I would have opened up the packages, but I'm just going to try and show you as best as I can the different fabrics in the different bundles. So, I really like this one. It's a beautiful fabric. And they kind of just 
you know, put some different fabrics together. And this just has a plain white fabric, which I thought was kind of neat too. And then we got, and this was a dollar. It's a big old bundle. Here you go. Damn camera. You know, with different shades of green and cream colors in it. So, and every time I look, I find just more fabric tucked in here. <laughs> and I actually have some of this fabric right here. So, a lot of really nice fabric. Which, <laughs> she was having fun spending mom's money, but I'm not going to complain. I also got for two dollars and in our craft store we're paying no less than six seven dollars these are quilting needles or quilting pins excuse me I also got this bookmark thing that says believe in angels the light is there we go and I was really surprised to find that the little angel charm is actually in the package sometimes that's one thing that comes up missing she also found these eight, yeah, candy corn buttons. This woo, bag of vintage buttons, which has some really, really nice buttons. I've gone through it and a lot of really pretty buttons in there. And that was a dollar. There goes my son. <laughs> I also found these little beads that have faces on them kind of hard to get you one but there's faces on them and I said these would come in handy if I want to do you know some little decorations many faces I also found a pair of I believe this is a stork embroidery scissors or maybe not so much a stork as a crane i don't know maybe somebody can tell me i have wanted a pair of these forever these things are super sharp super pointy i love them and we can't touch these in a store for less than 12 to 15 dollars so and now we get into the yarn that i bought and they actually allow you to take like a price chopper the smaller plastic bags and for five dollars fill it up this was separate though from that it appears to be like a sport weight creamy color yarn so i'm sure i can do something with that and this is the stuff i grabbed my daughter helped me grab it as well but <laughs> most of this was me the fabric was her i got this not really sure what it is it's a kind of shiny blue i'm thinking of knitting some type of pouch or something out of it because it's got that texture to it Got some really nice baby yarn. This stuff works really well for socks. I got three skeins of cotton yarn for dishcloths and stuff. She found this skein of Red Heart Super Sport and it's um, peach. That went into the bag. We also got this Rowan Four Ply Soft which is really nice. It's a sock weight yarn. And this, I don't know what some of this is. I don't really care. This was really neat. And the texture of it, it's a nice cotton yarn. So I think this will work really well for like dishcloths, face cloth stuff like that. We got some of this. This is also a sport weight. I kind of tried to stick to sport weight and thinner yarns. We got this. I've never even heard of some of this. Rolly Sport. <laughs> but that's okay. Got this skein of yarn, which is a baby bee called Sweet Delight. Which is so absolutely soft and wonderful. And this is a lightweight yarn too. And, ah! This skein of baby yarn. She found this little ball of thin yarn as well it really needs to be rewound they kind of wound that too tight they're taking the life out of it and then a skein of very old yarn called clover leaf and i haven't seen this since i was young so and i believe i have some somewhere in my stash but she really liked that so we'll have to do something with that as well i think this is the only worsted weight yarn we purchased so other than that I think that's it for what I got, and when I do the video, I will post it so everybody can see, but I really want to do a nice video for them, 
and maybe get one of the women to talk about you know the store and why they're there and but yeah it was a fantastic store i will definitely be visiting it again <laughs> so on to the very last thing i have to share with you and the only crafty thing that i have completed that i can share with you i started working on a pair of socks that out of the Peyton's Croy, not the ones that were the toe-up socks, but a different pair for a pattern that I got from Ravelry. And I, it's a beautiful pattern, but I wasn't seeing the pattern in the yarn because I think the yarn is a little too dark and a little too busy for it. So I chose some yarn that I had. I didn't even bring the label out, but it is a Knit Picks yarn. And I got the first, I, it's not a full sock, it's a footy, and I got the first one done, and I'm looking at the skein saying, oh my god, I don't think I'm going to have enough to get through the second one. So through the whole course of doing the second one, I'm watching the yarn dwindle down, <laughs> I'm saying, please let me make it. Well, this is what I have left of that skein of yarn. That little bit, I actually made it through the entire second sock, so I have a pair and I believe the pattern is called a, the spinning wheel lace pattern. I'll try and put it in the description if I remember. But that is the pattern. And the woman said it that created it said it reminded her of a spinning wheel. So absolutely beautiful pattern. They are a pair of footies. They're not a full length sock. I don't wear any full length socks. If they are longer, I fold them down. So hush up. Women wear long socks. Be quiet out there. <laughs> so there's that. And I have a pair. And the only thing I have left to do now is weave in the ends. And then I will be able to wear them. But it's an absolutely beautiful yarn. Like I said, it's a Knit Picks yarn. Can't remember the name of it. But yeah, so glad I actually made it. So other than that, that's it. I have nothing else to share with you. Sorry the Show video Percy. was so long, but, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> My son is saying, Show Percy. We're already at almost 18 minutes. Be quiet. So, yeah, Percy is just <laughs> such a sweetheart. Um, we're going to have to get some video and pictures of these guys because sometimes they do some really crazy stuff. Like, I have a picture of the cat. and Maybe I'll put that at the beginning and end of the video where she was actually, my daughter made a clay bust of her had it sometime way long ago in school and she perched herself so her back paws were keeping her butt where it needed to be and she was just hanging over it sleeping so and then Percival my daughter's bunny rabbit likes to kind of kick himself on his side and he gets really comfortable so we're gonna have to definitely get some video of these guys so and along with Azzy, who's not the tiny little ratty, you remember. She's quite the good-sized little ratty now, but she'll be coming out in a few minutes. It's just too hot to wear the sweatshirt and do a video. So, now that we're hitting almost 19 minutes, that's it. I'm calling it quits. Time to go. <laughs> um, I have started watching some videos from this week, so I know people received their packages already, and I'm really glad that you like them, and I hope you enjoy them. Um, and I know there's still one or two people that have yet to receive theirs, so hopefully they'll enjoy theirs as well. Other than that, I do look forward to watching everyone's videos. I hope you all have a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. As for me, I'm out. As for you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one, and I will see you all next week. Bye!